right. All ready? Yes, sir. Another great day, man. A little misty and rainy at first, and the good Lord cleared it up for us. Great day. We tackled for the first time. Had a lot of good tackling periods. Saw a lot of physicality. Uh, can't wait to get in there and see the tape. You know, there was a lot of good plays both sides. Saw Dalen Gill make a big hit. Lakevious Daniel, big hit. Brownlee continues to make plays. Janori Dean broke a long run. Ty Keys has flashed every day. You know, I think we're, we're getting better and better on the O-line, understanding what we want to do. Our receivers are making some plays, and uh, just got to keep going, right? We've knocked four out. We've got 11 left. We'll take five days to get our bodies back healthy, and we'll come back and do it again. Yeah, that big lick, I think Dalen stepped down in the gap and uh, hit Janari. It was pretty pretty, pretty serious. That was good to see, wasn't it? That's Sal Panola versus Lewis. That's Southern Miss. You know what I'm saying? And Janari Dean's a really good football player. Dalen Gill's a really good football player, and that was a high-speed, real college, bona fide D1 college football collision. No you know? doubt, no doubt. To your quarterbacks, uh, just uh, watching some of Ty today, he had some nice moments. One of them that kind of stuck out to me, gets in a little trouble in the pocket. And maybe last year when he would have took, taken off, you know, he finds uh, Caballo out in the flat. Can you yeah. talk about that play a little bit? Yeah, he's really understanding the system better. The hardest thing to do is to get to your second and third progression in the pocket. He's done that several times through four days, making a lot of big plays. Uh, he throws the deep ball extremely well. Cosenzi's done a phenomenal job with our wideouts of getting better at, at getting space for the deep ball. And uh, he's just way more comfortable. And uh, you can see the growth in him. And, and we're talented in that room. You can see the growth in Zach Wilkie. He's spinning right now, right, because he's four days into his first college spring. But we, he's not even, you know, he's not even halfway through. He's going to have a really good career here too. And Trey's doing well as well. And so we're talented in that room. He's got to keep coaching. Yeah, I was, was going to make the comment that I thought the last two days Trey's made some, made some nice throws. Yep. And, uh, it's a nice mix. Oh, yeah, it is. It is. You know, we got a lot of talent. Trey brings a lot of experience. Zach and Ty are really young, but uh, we got talent in the room. That's what you want as a coach. You want you want to coach talented people, and we've got that in there. Can you talk a little about you got a whole different situation at running back now. I noticed <laughs> y'all got to run a little more split gun today. You, you yeah. got more bodies out there. Can you just talk about the depth in that room and how it may change what you do with your play calling? Yeah, we'll play more running backs. Uh, you know, so at Superback, you got Rambo working mainly right there. Frank Gore's doing that some and playing running back. Chandler Pittman's injured and can't go through spring. He'll be there. Demo's coming off an injury in an operation. He practiced a little bit today. We think he'll be back after spring break, full go. So we got a lot of talent at the Superback spot. And then at running back, you got Frank. Dejan Richard's made a huge jump. Another kid that was his first year here that now going through an off season is getting so much better. And then you add Janari Dean and Kenyon Clay. So just a ton of talent in that room competing every day. Just just standing out here, it has the, so many so many bodies out here in athleticism. Yeah. It almost feels like it's August. Yeah. And it is a spring. I mean, and, and I'm thinking – you guys have a chance to be a lot lot better on special teams with all these extra athletes out here. You going to speak to that a little bit? There's no question. You know, we came here, we said we wanted to play our best players in the kicking game. We had to go away from that a little bit last year because we just didn't have the bodies. Now we do. Our starters will play on the kicking game because uh, we, we've got more. This never happens in college football. We've got more people on scholarship going through spring ball than we had on our team in the fall. Like, that that should never be the case. And uh, we're just a better football team with more players and more talent. And we'll continue to do that as we recruit, right? I'm going to go in here and take a shower, Glenn, and go and get to recruiting right now. You yes, know? sir. So. Can you touch on Tyler Knight last two days? I mean, almost every day, especially today I've seen him flash. Yeah. So, Playmaker. first off, at that position, that kind of embodies our program, right? Cam Harrell was one of the best nickels in this league last year, and now we bring in Tyler Knight. So, every day they're pushing each other to be better. You know, so they, they're lifting each other up, and they're both making plays. Tylen's a dog. Uh, he's been a champion his whole life. He's Southern Miss through and through, and so is Cam Harrell. So uh, I, I enjoy watching both of them play. I know it's been several days, and you move on pretty quick, but Wednesday's film, did you any takeaways from that you might add? Yeah, we're just more bigger and physical in the trenches than we used to be. You know, we have more people. We have – we're bigger and better. You know, the D linemen, they can play. You know, they're bona fide Division One football players. Uh, and, and, and on the O-line, we've added a lot to it. And we've been in the offseason another year with Coach Ancar. We're just bigger and better in the trenches. Uh, I think our young wideouts have really learned how to play and are getting so much better. Guys like Brandon Hayes, Richard Mays, Jacarius Caston, I think he's got to have a breakout year. And there's so much competition at DB now bringing in those newcomers. 
you know, to, to go with all our returners. So uh, yes. just, just excited about the overall growth of our program. Yes, all BAs and uh, yep. McLaurin Flash. On yeah, oh, yeah. Yep. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Appreciate it, Coach.